Welcome back, you guys. We've been gone for uh, the summer. The whole summer. We are here at the beer table. I am Tom. I'm Alan. I'm Gary. And I'm John. And welcome to the beer table. So today we've got a kind of a landmark show. We are we are trying the basically 50 of the Northwest top bottled IPAs. Over 50. Huh? 50 plus. Oh, and we've been plus. on this six months. Oh yeah, probably six months at least. We've been tasting your these liver beers. hurts. Yeah, and My liver certainly hurts. there's more available on cake. But again, and we stayed Northwest. So we're proud of the Northwest uh, craft beers. Traveled a bit. Honestly, the Northwest has got it going on when it comes to craft beers. There you right? go. They, they, so these are Washington, Oregon, Idaho. and one Canada. And Alaska. Alaska. Oh, in Alaska also. Yeah. That's true. One Alaska. And so that you guys, uh, that these are available to you over the internet, we chose to stay with the bottled ones. So uh, that's, that's how we rolled in. Over a series of a number of weekends, we tried over 50 head to head. Blind. Right. Well, we didn't go blind until we got to the top ten, did no, we? That's true. Right. right. Yeah, we went head to head until and overlapping, we got overlapping too. Yep. So yeah. we tried. We tasted 10. a lot of beer for you. Yeah. I'll Dang. tell you that. So what we've done, and now we've taken them into a top ten. We've got a top ten beers. Gary will tell you those, and we've blind tasted what we feel are the top five of those, and we'll tell you where we put them. Yeah. So that'll be the gist of this and show. And then, you know, we've let it gestate. We, we've sat on this for a few months discussing, uh, you know, in, in our different evenings, um, were these really the top ten or even top five, we could say. Because I will, I'm, I'm going to jump to ahead and say that collectively we both had two or three that just came to the top. Yeah. I mean, all four of us had our favorites. Yeah, top three absolutely. are solid. Top three or four are solid. Where are the top ten? The top ten? Yeah. In no particular order. No particular order. I don't care. Because we did, we did sort of do these uh, as sort of a mathematical computation to get our top ten, but it doesn't really matter because they're all so close. So the top ten in no particular order: uh, Snoqualmie Brewing, Wildcat IPA, Old School House's Rude Awakening, Ninkasi's Total Domination, Boundary Bay's IPA, Trade Roots Hoppy Bitch. Driftwood from Victoria, B.C., their Fat Tug IPA, Deschutes Brewery's Inversion IPA, American Brewery's Breakaway, Hopworks Organic Hopworks IPA, and Fremont Brewery's Interurban IPA. Those were our top ten, in no particular order. And there were a couple surprises to us. Where's our top five? Right here. Let's get rolling. Blind? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here we go again. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, here are our top five. We label these bottles one through five in no particular order. Taste them head to head. Here is bottle number five, which I ranked an, our third best beer. How did you know that? Hub. Nice. <laughs> so did I. I had a beer number three also. And Hub is a great brewery. If you haven't been there, visit them. Fabulous in Portland. Yes. I had a five, and uh, I felt of these five uh, that it was probably the most session type IPA of the five. And I had a four. That's sick. Yeah, I like that. Right. Cool. That's good. Okay. Next. What do we got? Yeah, number, yeah, four. number four. Right there. That's not circumcised this baby. You're number Ouch. four. <laughs> Even for a doctor. <laughs> Fremont. Fremont. Dang, fellas. What? I Fremont's had Fremont. Fremont's Interurban IPA. And I had a number four. And I had a... Well, that was my number five beer. I ranked it number five also. I also you know ranked what? it number five. Great yeah. solid IPA, just wasn't as balanced as some of the ones on the real top yeah. end. But it was still a dang good beer. D very yeah, good yeah, IPA. I mean, a spice is good. Deal. Not as well balanced as some of the other ones. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, it's fair. Was it my turn? Number three. I think so. Where is number three? Where is it? There it is. Beer number three is... Fat <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I, wow. I'm nailing them. Fat wow. Tug hey. IPA. Head at number three. From Driftwood Brewery in Victoria, British Columbia. Canadian brewery. This is a huge surprise for all yep. of us. Jeez. I had a number four. I had a number four. I had I, like three. I'm three. shocked. And I had a number three. As yeah. many times as we tasted these beers over and over and over, and they've been tasted blindly, we've always had this in the top four. So, I mean, for me, what was it? Yeah, number four. And yeah, good yep. beer. Yeah, absolutely. All right. 
Big J. Oh, here we go. Beer number two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> old school house. All right. Oh, where did I have that? I think I had that number one. As I always. had that number one. I think it's oh, number one in every one. tasting I've ever done with. Me. Right out of Winthrop. How Watch many times you. have we wow. ranked this one number one? in the blind tastings that we've had every single I think time almost yeah. every time if I not mean, every time you guys old school house you guys are kicking mm. yeah this there's is something the, in there that's what? that caramely sweet thing that's got something that none of the IPA other IPAs have all the way i mean it's just there's so much going on in that beer you it's drank a, it all didn't you yes i did but I brought another bottle. Oh, it's yeah. the best balanced. <laughs> I think that's the best balanced IPA I've ever tasted. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and I'm talking about balance between the malt and the hops because exactly. some people are exactly. looking for a big hop blast with IPAs, but for me, it's about the balance. I want the hops, but I want the malt, and that is number one consistent. You know what? And I, I know our producer is going to start going like this. Hurry up! Just quit talking. <laughs> Not yet. But really, this this beer, Gary, you said it so perfectly. It's so well balanced. Good malt, I, not good malt, great malt, great hops, great finish. It's not hot. IBUs, what's that? What's the ABV on this? You guys remember? Seven. Oh, they never say. They never say, but they you can say. find it online. Yeah, and we have it somewhere in our yeah. notes. I got I'm it, I got say it. It's seven, three ish. Go to the next one and I'll tell well, you. Well, we know it. Yeah, let's open up. What's up? Beer number one. It's got to be boundary. 7.0% boundary and, and it have 80 IBUs. Boundary Bay IPA. Yeah. Hometown, are, which is always, you know, and Boundary's been so consistent in this too. It's it's just pushing that old schoolhouse, right? You know, it's it's been right there, but it's it's. And where'd you have it? I had it number two, yeah. number two, which I number think I've two. had many times. And I had it number three, but I had such a hard time with Fat Tug Boundary Bay today. It was like it's old schoolhouse for me stood out, but those other two were well, it, close. It's a good but, time to talk condition. Talk about condition. Bottle for a condition. Yeah, I mean, and we all got to realize that these bottles are coming to us, most of them uh, to a grocery store or um, a pub through a distributor. Um, so you got all of these sort of intermediate steps. You just got to remember that um, things can go wrong with these bottles, not just at the brewery. It's usually not at the brewery. It's usually somewhere along the line. They're not stored properly at the right temperature. They sit on a loading dock in the hot sun, whatever. Um, sometimes it's just, you know whatever so you got to remember that bottle condition is important you're not always going to get the same bottle batches are different um beers can uh, vary all over the place so i tell you what really stands out to me guys to go through over 50 beers we did a lot of tastings and and how we would let's say we did 12 in a night well then we'd have to pass five through so if we did seven to ten more another night those other five that passed through were still there and old schoolhouse boundary bay they kept Bad getting tug. it just kept getting passed through these all kept getting passed through and, and i'll tell you through all these tastings <laughs> the four of us came up with old schoolhouse all of it all four right. of us every, every single time one right. ipa every single time you gotta drink it you if know, you can you find try. it you gotta try it. Drink it. You know, if you're in California, Oregon, Washington, you know, even in Washington, it's kind of limited. Um, we're lucky enough that we live close to Winthrop where they make this awesome beer. If you can find it, get a bottle of this. Share it with some friends. To me, this is this is the great part of what we're doing here. This is just for fun for us. Hopefully, you're, you guys are getting something out of this. You're learning something. But for us, this is awesome that we are sharing these fantastic beers. We're gonna burn some meat and some if fish. You, if yeah. you got a beer you that go. you and think can beat that, send it you to let us. us know what it is. Yes. Right. Or, or send I it. Because I want to drink it. <laughs> I do want to say as a side note too, with the Fremont, American Brewing's breakaway yes. was tied points wise with this beer. So it easily could have been in substitute for these and came in a little bit different. Because yes. yeah, those, the, those were both the fifth place and That's beer. an excellent point. We should give American Brewing Company their props because you guys did yeah, a fantastic did job. Yeah. Just a beaten by a gnat's booty there. You know, for the, furthermore, on our rating system, you got 50 beers. You know, some people like tons of hops in their IPAs. So some like a little bit more malt. What we're shooting for is we tried to rank them. What's the nose? What's the start? What's the middle? What's the finish like? 
you know, and then you came color. up with a numbering system. And that so color. some of these may not be um, spicy or, or enough pizzazz for, but as an IPA rolls, these are pretty darn good IPAs. Oh, absolutely. Well, we've got different palettes between the four of us, and to come up with our top three beers consistently in the top three is, they're good beers. Yeah, absolutely. In closing, hey, thank you guys, as always, for joining us on a beautiful, what, this is the second day of fall. We're wrapping up our summer here. What a beautiful What's way to next? Ride. What are we doing yeah. next? Oh, we're, whoa, <laughs> oh, you don't want to miss the next time. Because we're going to hammer it with a, a little bit of gnarly one, I believe. We're starting we? with oh, uh, okay. Northwest Barley Wines. Oh, nice. Oh, sorry, not gnarly, barley. Props yeah, to there you go. Here comes our show. <laughs> Oops. Till next time, Again, guys. Salute, go, guys. Go get these beers. Hey, get these beers. subscribe above. Some here, up here. Thanks for watching. <laughs>